Hello, hello, my name is Oreo Token, and welcome to the new Xur Not Visible Drops on the map. Now with the new DLC, Forsaken, Xur will no longer be visible on the map, so it's going to be harder to find them. So, if we start off, Xur's location is at the Winding Cove on the EDZ. So log into the EDZ, jump into here, and he's at the typical location he usually is on the Winding Cove. So let's go there and take a look at where he is. So, as we go to Xur, like I said, in the typical location, Xur has exotics with the new mods on it, which is great to have this week because we have not been able to see the new mods in action. So let's go up to Xur, grab what he has, and see what's on there. So we'll go back to his regular location. There's many different ways to get up there. But this is the way I usually go. Up this way, through the cracks. And then, like I said before, Xur would have a floating thing above his head. But now he doesn't. So he is in this location by this fallen ship in the Winding Cove. So let's see what he has. Let's see how it's a little different. So starting off, he's got, of course, the Faded Ingram. So if you're on Xbox, the Borealis is now available through your Faded Ingram. So go for it and get it. Well, it will be. All right. So Knucklehead Radar. Let's take a look at it. As before, it upgrades your sensor pack, so while you're aiming down sights, it enhances your radar resolution while crouched, which was great. It's like having the Midas perk on it. Secondly, your typical reinforcements for uh, your reinforcement mod and your restoration mod, so recovery and resilience. Now, for the Forsaken mods, it has bow targeting, which is improved target acquisition, accuracy, and aim down sight speeds for bows which will be very big for when bows do drop on Tuesday. Next one is hand cannon targeting. Hand cannon targeting. This would be my preferred because I am a hand cannon user, as you see by the hand cannon in my hand. But hand cannon targeting, what that does is it will improve target acquisition, accuracy, and aim down sight speeds for hand cannons. That's going to be awesome because it hand cannons needed a buff and this is one of the ways they could buff it and the last one is hands on gain bonus super energy on melee kills this is going to be great in pve and even in pvp if you're really good with your melee kills with the hunter it can be um and then the uh the next one is shotgun reserves increase the ammo for shotgun you carry and then heavy ammo farmer increase the drop chance for heavy ammo on kill which Heavy will be good when PvE comes around as well. That's a very important thing, especially for raids and things like that. The next one is Prometheus Lens. Um, this is about all the same. Um, so basically, if you haven't gotten one, I would go back and get this. Um, they've done a lot to trace rifles now. They've actually improved the time to kill with trace rifles in this new DLC and PvP. So if you're looking at a trace rifle kill, this might be important. Also, if you're trying to finish the collection on PS4, the Void of Trace Life rule is coming out in the DLC coming up. So, I would go ahead and pick up the Solar one. If you don't have the Cold Heart, try to get the Cold Heart and then get the Void one too in order to complete the set. After that, we have the Vesper of Radius. Um, this one's perk is Rifts and cre re do Release an Arc Shockwave when cast. Rift Energy recharges faster when you are surrounded by enemies. All right, so increase resilience or recovery are the two mods you can add. The forsaken ones are unflinching bow aim, reduces flinch from incoming fire while aiming bows. We don't know how bows work quite yet, but I can only imagine that would be very helpful. The second one is unflinching fusion rifle aim, reduce flinch from incoming fire while aiming fusion rifles. Usually when I'm using a fusion rifle, I do not aim down sights on ADS, but... If you do, that could be useful if you're using a Telesto on a boss. You don't want to miss any your heavy shots. That'd be very useful. The last one is unflinching sniper ammo. Let's just take a moment and understand that. Sniper flinch in Destiny 2 is way too much. But with this perk, I'd be very interested to see how that affects 
the sniper flinch. So if you're a warlock, go hop on and grab this. This seems like a very good perk, especially this part right here. And go ahead and try it. And then when you go to the next one, scout rifle reserves and special ammo finder. So that would be very good. That combo with, you know, your sniper or fusion or bows, this will help you find more ammo and this will help you not flinch when getting hit when you're aiming down sights. The last one is Ash and Wake. An Ash and Wake is a Titan Gauntlet. Um, it, you can either, the perk on it is bringing the heat, which is fusion grenades now explode on impact and gain increased throw speed. Direct hits with fusion grenades will recharge grenade energy. So if you are all about sticking people with grenades like it was in D1, this is the way to do it. This will explode when it hits them. So, you know, it has its privileges and perks. You know, if you hit somebody with an explosion grenade, they could be a one or two tap, depending on the weapon you're using, and finish them off faster. That could be very useful in PvP. Um, Forsaken mods is fusion rifle loader. It increases your fusion rifle speed reload times, which is good. Second one is hand cannon loader. This one's a big one, too. Hand cannons, especially the high damage archetype, take forever to reload. Like your old fashions. They take forever to reload before you do anything right there so this will be huge to see how much that speeds up your reload speed um, especially when you're doing PvP when you're in that firefight and you run you shoot your last bullet this could save your life last one is impact inducing induction causing damage with a melee attack reduces your grenade cooldown so back to the D1 days where you do melee damages you reduce cooldown on your grenade and vice versa they're kinda of bringing that back and then we go to the last perk, Shotgun Scavenger and Heavy Ammo Finder. So this will be good for when you use Heavy as well. Um, and I think that will be a great perk that we have. It's kind of interesting that they don't have a preview available, actually. That must be a bug in the system. But, you know, Destiny's working on it for the next drop coming on Tuesday to fix all the issues. But right now, I am a hunter. I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to put it on. Yes, I am running the War Musk. Um... As we see, my knucklehead radar from year one does not have the perks. This is very important. Year one's perks are not going to be on the year two drops. So you will have to get year two drops in order to get the Forsaken perks. So I'm going to put that on. I'll probably infuse this into there because it's almost no point anymore to have this anymore. But that's that's it. Running my sniper with Sunfall 7 and play of the game loadout. I do believe right now this is a very good loadout to run in PvP. Jade Rabbit is very strong as well. And um, of course having a shotgun option is very good to have as well. So for this video, this is where Zur is on the Winding Cove. Come over and find him. Pick up some of these exotics because they can be very helpful. So again, my name is Oreo Token and have a great day. Bye.